Also today, House Democrats gathered on the steps of the Capitol to call for new legislation to prevent gun violence. They're joined by former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, who was injured in a 2011 shooting. Thank you for being here this morning. This Congress has failed the American people. As a Newtown and Aurora, as a Charleston and Orlando, nine Las Vegas, how many more must die? A hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, a million? What is your blood price? How many more must die? How many mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, sons and daughters, husband and wife, tell me what? Tell me and tell us. What is the number? How many more dead bodies will it take to wake up this Congress? But there's no number, is there? There's no amount of blood, or pain, or death, or suffering. What would move this Congress to act? We hold moments of silence and vigil. We offer our thoughts and prayers. But it's all a show, a placeholder, until people forget and this Congress can move on rolling back restrictions on silence and making it easier for the mentally ill to pressure weapons. Don't tell me otherwise. I've been around too long. I lost colleagues in Mississippi and Alabama to gun violence. We lost Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to a man with a rifle. We lost Senator Robert Kennedy to a man with handguns. I've seen too many gun deaths and I am here to say right now, this must stop, and it must stop now. We were elected to lead. We were elected to be a headlight and not a taillight. I said to all of you, to all of my colleagues on the other side, we must have raw courage to make a down payment on ending gun violence in America. We can no longer wait. We can no longer be patient. If that was a fire, we would bring water. If that was a virus, we would send medicine. If this was a storm, we would give shelter. But this is about guns, and so, once more, this Congress does nothing. Don't tell me. Don't tell me we need mental health reform when you won't provide every American access to mental health care. Don't tell me this is about protecting the Second Amendment when you won't stand up for the First Amendment. Don't tell me this is about anything other than greed, greed, money, and fear. I said to each one of us, to all of the members of the Congress, have courage, be unafraid, do your job, bring common sense gun control legislation to a vote. We need it, and we need it now. And I yield 
I yield to our friend, a beloved sister, a former member of Congress, Representative Gifford. Thank you, Gabby, for being here. Stopping gun violence takes courage. The courage to do what's right. The courage of new ideas. I've seen great courage when my life was on the line. Now is the time to come together, be responsible. Democrats, Republicans, everyone. We must never stop fighting. Fight, fight, fight. Okay. Yeah. That's what I say. Be bold, be courageous. The nation's counting on you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Mike Thompson from California and chair of the Gun Violence Prevention Task Force. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank all my colleagues who are standing with us today. And I also want to mention that our colleagues from Nevada would be here with us, but they're in Nevada now grieving and helping those who were victims of this last terrible mass shooting. We're here because we know we can do something. You know we can do something, and we must do something. First and foremost, we have to stop this dangerous gun agenda being uh, brought forward by the majority party in the House, a bill to lift the restrictions, deregulate the sale of silencers, and a bill to make it easier for anybody to carry a concealed weapon anytime, any place. We also believe that we should pass common sense gun violence prevention legislation. First, a bill that would require anyone who buys a gun through the commercial sale to undergo a background check. And second, the speaker needs to step forward and establish a select committee on gun violence prevention. For the last four and a half years, we've been working on gun violence prevention measures. Everything that we've brought forward doesn't cut the mustard with the Republican majority. They won't give us a hearing. They won't give us a vote. Well, if you don't like what we're bringing forward, you bring something forward. Establish a select committee. Let Democrats and Republicans sit down and work on this very real and very important issue together and bring measures forward that will help keep the American people safe. And I yield to my colleague and someone who experiences the issues of gun violence in her district daily, Congresswoman Robin Kelly. Thank you, Rep. Thompson. Good morning. Like my colleagues, I'm glad to be here standing united and saying with one voice, enough is enough. But I'm also angry and sad, sad for the 59 people who lost their lives, sad for the families that will never celebrate another birthday with Bailey and Quentin, sad for the friends that will never get another excited text from Jordan or Angela. And I'm angry, angry that we are here yet again Angry that Sandy Hook and 20 dead first graders weren't enough to spark change. Angry that it took 477 days for Pulse to be surpassed as our nation's worst mass shooting. I'm angry because I know that we will be back here again and again and again until something changes. Back here mourning with the nation looking for answers because the people's house refused to act back here demanding something, anything, to save lives and getting the same response. Thoughts and prayers while they head to the bank to cash their NRA check. Something has got to change. 
Something has got to change because Angela Gomez was just 20 years old. Something has got to change because Hydea Pendleton was just 15 years old. Something has got to change because Grace McDonald was just seven and in the first grade. Something has got to change because Jason Josephat was just 20 years old. Tragically, it's too late for them, but it's not too late for someone else, someone who might be your daughter or your son, your nephew at the nightclub or granddaughter at the country concert, your mom at the day spa or your sister teaching in an elementary school. We can act now and save their lives. So I asked the speaker, what's so scary about a select committee? You created two last Congress but can't find the space for a committee to find a way to save 30,000 American lives every year. Is it because this isn't a project for Rita's video? Is it because there isn't a Democratic presidential candidate to slander and attack? Or is it because you got a nice check for $5,950? The time for action is now. Enough blood and tears have been shed. Enough families have been broken apart. Let's do something to stop this death. Otherwise, we do not deserve to be here. Yeah. I yield. Yeah. 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 Now is the time for action. Yes. We must act. This is the end of our program, but this is not the end of the movement. Thank you. Can people go talk to the outside groups? Those yeah. say hello to yeah. the outside groups? Yeah, let's go, let's go over Mike.